Hello and a very warm welcome to Cultural Communication Confidence with me, Victoria Reynoldson. And welcome to this second part in this podcast mini series where we're going to be talking about first impressions in networking, the power of an impactful introduction. So this mini series, just as a reminder, is a four part series. And it's a follow-up to another mini-series we did about a month ago, all about interviewing. So if you haven't had the chance to listen to that, feel free to go back and have a listen. Last week, we focused on strategies for CV and resume success. And we're following up today, thinking about networking and how you introduce yourself, because this can be a key part of your research, particularly if you're researching different industries, different career options, and looking at uh, company options for you to apply to. Networking is also particularly relevant at the time of year that I'm recording this, as we come to the end of 2023, when there are lots of social events and get-togethers. And so your ability to introduce yourself well can be really important and be that difference between people remembering who you are and perhaps forgetting almost instantaneously the conversation that you had. And it's particularly important because our natural tendency is to, when we get asked that question, what do you do, is to answer it in a very set way. So people usually in this circumstance say their name, their job title, and where they currently work. Now, the problem with that is that means that you are defining yourself by your past and your present if you're currently working. So it defines you in terms of a way that you have been doing things, but it might not help the person to have a good view of what you want in the future. So I'm going to be sharing with you today a framework to help you think about how you introduce yourself in a more memorable, impactful way that is also future oriented. But before we get to that, I want you to really consider what is your goal when you enter these networking events. Now, if you are somebody who's got job search on your mind, then perhaps you have got that as your top goal. Maybe there will be somebody there who can introduce me to the right person who potentially is recruiting right now. Perhaps you are absolutely thinking the right person who can give you that role is in the room already. And that's fine. However, I really believe that we get the most from our networking when we enter into it in a spirit of connection first. So thinking about how do we want to connect with other people, human to human? How do we want to really show up and show that we're genuine in our want to build a great relationship, to collaborate, potentially even to contribute to them as well? I think when we enter into this with this kind of spirit, then we get much more back from our networking. So, you know, do think about it and frame it in that way. But now, coming back to the framework itself, I said I promised I'd share with you a a way to introduce yourself that comes across in a more impactful way. Well, the way to remember this is PEN. It stands for P, passion, E, expertise, and N, now what? So let's go through these each in turn. So to start with passion, this is what you are really passionate about, what you love doing, what you are particularly, uh, what is particularly important to you. And the reason why that really works as a starting point is with passion, you are talking about where you want to go and where it is you want to work. So I think this is also a very memorable way for people to connect with you because what you are passionate about is completely unique and distinctive from somebody else. 
So that's the, the best place to start. Then you can move into E, expertise. Now, again, why I talk about expertise is here you're really bringing out your skills, your strengths, rather than defining it by a job title or your current company, which doesn't necessarily tell people very much. So this is particularly important if you are looking for a, a new role, which is maybe outside of your core career to date, or maybe you're changing careers. So defining it by expertise is a great way. And then finally, N, now what? This is really helping you to put into the conversation what it is you want to do next, or perhaps what you want to get out of the conversation. So just to be clear, obviously it's not okay in these situations to ask directly for a job. However, it is okay to ask for, for example, advice, a follow-up conversation, an informational interview, or even to ask for ideas for other people to talk to, or um, potentially other events, other networks for you to tap into. So there is a lot there within Now What? Now, this framework sounds quite simple, but I suspect you'll want to spend some time thinking about what comes into these three areas, passion, expertise, Now What? It's absolutely fine if you want to write that out fully first, but I would encourage you then to just distill it down to a couple of two or three bullet points just as memory prompts, and then you wanna practice it. Now, there are two ways that you can practice this. The first way is that ideally, you get somebody else to give you feedback, somebody you trust, either a family member a friend, even a colleague, if um, they, you're okay sharing about what you're doing right now within your networking strategy. And there are a couple of areas to pay attention to or ask them to give you feedback on. The first area is whether you come across clearly and concisely. So ideally, you don't want to be speaking for any more than 20 to 30 seconds. And then the other area which is really important is how do you come across are you putting energy into the way you say it do you sound like you or do you just sound like a robot who's learned something off by heart you see the difference and the way you come across with energy clearly is personal to you you know the way that you normally speak how you vary your verbal communication your your voice and also how much, um, how expressive you are with your non-verbal communication, your body language. Um, so that is very personal, but you want to be able to connect with people through verbal and non-verbal elements as well. So it can be helpful to get that feedback. And if you don't have anybody that you feel like you can ask, then I think another way that you can um, get that feedback is to self-evaluate. So what I would do there is hop on to a Zoom or a Teams meeting to record yourself. Even you can do this on a video on your phone, to be honest. Record yourself and then go back and watch and evaluate yourself against those two areas. Are you clear and concise? And are you coming across with energy and like you? The only thing I would say is that if you're self-evaluating, it can sometimes be a little bit challenging to be objective. And that is something I know people find find a little bit tough. Sometimes we can be more self-critical than uh, others. So try and see the positives, not just the negatives. And of course, if this is something that you would love to get my feedback on, then I would like to extend a free invitation today. I'm very happy to review your introduction. Uh, if you record it, either voice record or video it in 30 seconds or less, you can send it to me. Uh, the best way to do that is via LinkedIn Messenger. So you can find me on LinkedIn. My personal profile is Victoria Reynoldson, and I am very happy to give you some feedback. 
So that invitation is there for you. So as we come to the end of this episode, I want you to be really mindful and intentional in the way you show up to your networking events. Go in with that intention of connecting and collaborating, even if you're job searching and ideally you're looking for the right people. Consider how you introduce yourself and try out the PEN framework, passion, expertise, and now what? And make sure you practice and get feedback as a way to improve and feel more natural as you go to networking events. I hope you have found today's episode helpful and valuable. And if you have, I would absolutely love for you to share this with somebody else who also might find it useful and is job searching right now. And if you found it very valuable, then I would absolutely love it if you could leave me a review, rate it, and make sure that we can share these episodes as widely as possible for others to benefit as well. Thank you so much for joining me here today on Cultural Communication Confidence, and I very much look forward to seeing you next time.